What's up guys, this is Tabletop Icon again with another knife review. Today, it's the Cold Steel Counter-Tac 2. I really like it. It's a nice little blade. Comes with like a injection molded Secure-X sheath. It also comes with a little neck lanyard or a little beaded you know necklace which is what I use it for but if you wanted to carry it in your boot or on your belt it actually does have this little clip on it it's a really nice little sheath and the knife itself I, I like it a lot I've used it for some minor things um, it's Japanese AUS 8 steel which is middle of the road steel but pretty good steel um the overall length is six and three quarter inches i don't know if you can tell by looking at it but it's four millimeters thick so it's small but it's kind of stout um it only weighs i think it said 2.1 ounces so it's really light and if you're like me and you got medium sized hands not super big hands, but medium sized. It fits my hand really nicely. And overall, I like the profile of it. It's got a nice little palm swell, which, which grips real nice. And this, I'm not sure what kind of material this, it's like an over molded handle. It is a full tang knife. Uh, it's got like a rubberized handle, but it's real grippy. It's it, it's nice. It's got a super sharp needle point on it. It's almost like a chisel ground. It's flat on the other side. But it's really nice. A really nice little profile. It's discreet. I can wear it around my neck. I wear it around my neck just about everywhere I go. Um, and if you wanted to slide it on your boot, you could do that with this. And it, it this is, it, even though it's a plastic clip, it's still, it's pretty tight. It holds pretty good. Yeah. I wear it as a neck knife with this beaded chain, and I, I prefer that way. But I'm not a big cold steel guy but i've got a couple of their knives recently and you know for what you pay for it i think this was somewhere in the area of 35 bucks um for what you pay you get a pretty good knife like this is a good last last ditch self-defense tool um i haven't really used it except for you know cutting some boxes and it's got some tape goo on it but it comes pretty sharp. I don't know if you can see how that that tip looks. It's a pretty fine point little pokey thing, but there it's a really nice little knife. I'm super happy with it. I'm glad I bought it. It's just, you know, you can never be too prepared and have a little last ditch you know self-defense or whatever you wanted to use it for i don't think you can pick that up in the camera but you can see the actual blade stock inside that handle there you go you can kind of see it a little bit there so it is full tang you aren't gonna bend it very easy it's it's a nice little knife i recommend them to anybody especially if you like to carry light and it's not super small well, like I said, it's six and three quarter inches, so it's almost a seven inch knife overall. The blade length is three and three eighths inches, so you know it's decent size. I mean, it's not doesn't have much practical use for survival or, but as far as a tactical EDC application, I think it's a great little knife. You should go pick one up. They're super nice. Make sure to like and subscribe.